based on the criteria that um, we wanted um, volunteers who have the first is passion, and then the second is the a kind heart and spirit to care for children, and thirdly is your language abilities, mostly, um, I think, for the Taiwan students, their English proficiency. Um, but any, any um, so I want to talk about our goals moving forward. And if you can turn, to, I don't have the PowerPoint, but if you can turn to the goals of the camp page, okay, it's in English, um, and we'll just go through it very briefly. Um, the first goal is to befriend English, and you all know what befriend English, befriend means, right? It's to make English friendly, and this is to make English friendly, not just for the campers, but also for our our volunteers. And and I think that um, by work having the, the TS students and the Taiwan College students work together. The TS students will learn more Chinese, and the Taiwan College students will learn more English. Because I, I had seen a statistic that all the children in Taiwan learn English in school, but by the time they get to their workplace, 80% are afraid to speak English. So I think this, this summer is the opportunity for you to befriend English, and for our young children from Taidong to lose their fear of English. Um, spark creativity is the second goal, and that mainly is, you, you have all come through a very rigid um, Taiwanese education system where <clears throat> examination will determine the results of your advancement. Um, but I think it, in, in that very rigid system, it doesn't provide the opportunity for students to become very creative. And I think that the, the purpose of the camp is to teach English through um, a number of very sort of creative, uh, a number of courses that are driven by creativity, like science, art, music, dance, literature, um, and a study of, of the world around us. And that course is going to be called Hello World, which is what it was called last year. Um, and we want to promote free flow discussions and um, discovery. <clears throat> the third is actually very important, and it applies to everyone, the volunteers and the campers, to cultivate life skills and habits. Um, and by living together in a dorm, we will all, we will be in very close proximity with our young students all the time. So you have to set good examples of manners, say thank you, please, all the time, good morning, you know, um, and when you eat, when you sit down to eat, we have to be courteous um, and polite. And the other thing is like keep your dorm rooms clean to set as, as, as an example for the children. And you, you are actually, um, you will have to teach your little um, buddies how to keep their own um, rooms, their bunk clean, okay? Um, and also personal hygiene, you know, washing hands um, frequently, taking showers regularly, um, all of those are habits that you will teach the campers. Um, appreciate cultural differences. Um, this is going to be a truly international community. We have students coming from um, the campers will be coming from Taidong, but even different parts of Taidong and Hualien, um, and different tribes, and also the volunteers. You are all coming from different parts of Taiwan, and the and as well as the we will have volunteers from the U.S. as well. They're not here today, but there will be five or six um, volunteers from New Jersey, California. They'll be joining us. And I think the key is that it's a global community. Let's learn to accept each other's differences um, and appreciate um, each other's culture. Um, the final, um, and then we want to promote self-motivation and self-discipline. Um, we, we have a lot of 
leadership opportunities here. And we'll talk when we go through the organizational chart, we can talk about it. But this is an opportunity. If you want to take the lead, you will be given the opportunity to. And so, um, and then the in terms of the self-discipline, um, there are things that you probably want to do at camp. And um, but I think it, we have to do what's good for everybody, good for the, for the greater good. Um, so the, you know, I think you probably you may, for example, I'll give you a very simple example. Last year, there's an elevator because the dorm is four flights, and so the um, the volunteer, the, the the campers were not allowed to take the elevators. So in fact, no one was allowed to take the elevators, but the volunteers decided to take the elevators. So. The, then the little children will say, "Well, why? Do, why can they take the elevators and not us?" You know. So, so I think, you know, we have to be thoughtful about the example that we set. No one takes elevators. That's the rule. Um, um, and and the campers do get very homesick. So we have to um, sort of exercise. I, I think it's an exercise in self-discipline to teach them, you know, how to not become homesick. Okay. And um, then finally, it's, it's actually a very important point here. You are building something for the future. Um, we, hope, we hope this camp will keep moving on. It gets better each year. We learn from ETA4 experience. We learn from heart-to-heart -heart experience the last two years. We want to build a model that can, that's organic and will continue to improve. And so just remember, you're leaving a legacy um, for you know, the volunteers of next year to follow and to continue as you go through this experience, please, please let us know how we can improve it, make it better, because it's your camp. You know, it's not the Taidong Children's Camp, it's your camp that will make a difference in many, many children's lives. Um, so, um, I, I did want to... You, I don't, I don't, in the back of, in the back of it, um, I'll just mention the core values that we want to observe every day as we're at camp. Um, the trust, you know, and, and in terms of how we build trust is that we are going to in, institute a buddy system. So there'll be about approximately 40 to 50 volunteers and probably 100 to 120 campers. So what we're asking is each counselor to adopt three campers. So from, from, the, from day one, each counselor will have three little campers that they're, re, they're responsible for just in terms of every, every morning you check in with them, make sure they had a good night. Every night you check with them, make sure they had a good day. And if they have any problems, they come to you. Um, because what happens is that when you have 100 kids, um, there will be the ones that are very shy, very quiet, not used to being with, you know, in, well, first of all, they're not used to being away from home. And then, then they're not used to being with, living with so many strangers. So I think the buddy system will help them feel at home that someone cares about them. Um, and that's, um, so we, we're gonna build trust. And because unless the children trust you, they will not learn from you. Okay. Uh, confidence, we want to encourage, because, you know, at all times, you, you should always provide very positive feedback to your campers, even if they do simple things, like they, um, you know, they take care of their, after a meal, you know, they, they, they take care of their, their dishes and tray and, and ha wash it properly. You can, you know, you can encourage them and say, "Oh, you did a great job," or when, and also when they speak English, all the time. Anytime they speak English to you, you absolutely should reward them. Uh, you know, a minimum um, with a compliment, but also we, we actually will have a reward system, a, a, what we call language Olympics, um, that that Deborah's used in her school, where the the children will be rewarded for. Um, um, getting the most points for speaking English. The, and respect, um, we, we found in the past, and it's inevitable, that young people um, 
and whether it's volunteers or campers, they, they like to have their little, little groups because it's comfortable, okay? And then sometimes, and, and it's fine to have good friends and good buddies, but sometimes one group gets very annoying to other groups. So you form, form like little cliques, and, and cliques are not good because they exclude other people. And so we will have no cliques at this camp, okay? And no name calling. Last year there were like things like, um, you know, some of the volunteers were going, so and so left, so but so and so, and it's just, and then they would broadcast it, you know, through, and, and it's just very, very immature behavior. Um, so we, we will not have name calling and no clicks. And finally, you're gonna, <laughs> By the end of the, by the middle of August, when you leave camp, you're only going to think I'm a housekeeper, <laughs> but I'm not. Okay. Um, the Juni School has an immaculate environment, and you know what immaculate means. Immaculate means very, very clean. Everything is in its right place. So that is going to be our home away from home for two weeks, and it is our responsibility to keep it that way. And when we leave, we're going to leave it the way that we found it, okay? And I am actually going to bring a couple of people come in before camp starts to teach us how to do, how to clean, okay? No, because you know what? You know that expression: "Don't give me fish, but teach me how to fish." Well, here it is: "Don't clean for me, but I'll teach you how to clean," okay? Um, but anyway, that that's um, and and we will teach the little ones. How to clean, please. Okay. All right. So on that note, um, let, let's um, go to the organization, the, the organization part, which is. Okay. Sorry, it's only in Chinese. Um, but We'll just go touch it briefly. Um, so you'll, you'll see at the very top of the chart is the Gongyi Ping Tai Gu Wen Chun. So those are the advisors um, that the advisor to um, the camp. Okay. So um, and that's myself, Yanti, Alex, um, Chen Ba, um, the um, Libra. Okay. So we're only advisors um, now. There is a position of Ying Zhang, which is, um, we're not quite sure, it's either the captain or the chief for the camp. And then there are positions for three Fu Ying Zhang, deputy chiefs, okay? And then we, we're divided into committees. There will be a, um, a video recording and news, um, newsletter, um, um, it, it's, yes, um, committee or division. Then Sheng Huo Fu Daozu is to, um, assist with dorm life, life at camp. And Ke Cheng Zhu is um, curriculum. And then Huo Dong Zhu is activity. And so the, um, the, the Ke Cheng Zhu, of course, is in charge of the curriculum from, from eight in the morning until four in the afternoon. Um, the Huo Dong Zhu will be in charge of coming up with evening activities, um, weekend activities, and also the opening ceremony, the closing ceremony. So all of these, so we're dividing up responsibilities. And in the course of the training between now and June 2nd, um, we will, um, you know, we, we, we will be selecting the leadership roles for, for these various um, committees and um, and, and so I think it's, it's an opportunity. If you want to take on more responsibility, you can demonstrate it during the training process and take on some leadership roles. Um, because remember, this camp is, is to be, it's conceived by, by students, and it will be administered by students, and the advisors are there to help you, but ultimately, you will do the work and take pride in your work. And the last thing I wanted to just touch up is, touch base is um, the training schedule. Um, the 
with kids, kids, we, we will have this translated into English, okay? So it's the um, Beijing Kecheng. So there's some key dates um, for getting together and training. Today is the first day of our training. Um, and there's the next day is March 31st, Sang Yi Hao. Um, that training is uh, mostly for the Taiwan College students. And they will they have a, um, a meeting on that day and they will be um, given the opportunity to learn about how to get along with um, the children from Taidong and how and start planning for the activities. Okay. Um, then the um, there's another meeting April seventh or April fourteenth where and again that's for the um, the Taiwan College students where you have a preview of the activities that you're planning. So um, and then the so the next time this group, both heart to heart and um, the Taiwan College Taiwan students um, get together is right now we have it set for April twenty second, um, but I wanted to ask if we change the date to April twenty ninth, um, which will give everyone an extra week to plan. Um, can I just see a show of hands? 如果我们把四月二十二号那个那那一天的会改到四月二十九号的话，嗯，有哪一些同学不能来？四月二十九号不能来的同学，OK。好，那嗯，那我们等一下再再决定。好，好，OK，好。然后嗯，then，then May thirteen。we will have a, a session in classroom management, but because May 13 is in the middle of TAS finals, so the heart to heart kids will not be able to meet. But June 2nd is the second all hands meeting. Um, again, the TAS students and the, uh, the, the our Taiwan volunteers will get together and, and train. So eat. For the TAS students, it just um, we don't have a formal schedule, but you are expected to meet weekly. Yes. Oh, weekly. Okay. Weekly. <laughs> yeah. And, and plan your curriculum. So basically, what the, the the current sort of rough division is that the TAS students will be planning the the curriculum, and the Taiwan students will be planning everything else. <laughs> okay. No, the activities and and I think. But no matter who plans it, I, I think we, we will make sure we work together in teams and, and together. Um, because I, I, I hope um, by the end of this, by August, everyone will know each other by name and that you will have friendships going forward even after the camp ends. Okay? Okay, I think that's it. So, um, is, is Tiers doing first? Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, um, Tiers is here. Okay, so the next se section is about sharing experiences from last year. Um, and so the Tiers will talk first, and then the we have um, three representatives from volunteers from the ETA for camp that will talk after the Tiers kids.